Live and on demand from the WNY News Now studios in downtown Jamestown. This is WNY News Now. And thanks for joining us for WNY News Now. I'm Justin Gould. Our Matt Hommel is off. Happening now, today is Memorial Day. We tell you the story of how one group is honoring fallen heroes. Plus, a Colorado man is in county jail following a vehicle pursuit over the weekend. But first, Chief Forecaster Dakota Hunter is standing by with a first look at our weather. Hey, Dakota. Hey, Justin, and happy Memorial Day, everybody. And I want to take a moment to say thank you to all the men and women who gave the ultimate sacrifice for our country. Uh, you are what this country is about. So thank you, thank you, thank you uh, for all of your service. And talking about uh, the pollen levels, it's the tree pollen we're still dealing with, but the grass pollen has now shot up in the moderate category. So if you've been uh, sneezing and sniffling uh, 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 recently, there's your two culprits. The tree and grass pollen has spiked up once again. So for the forecast for this Memorial Day, most Mostly sunny skies. It's a gorgeous day. A lot less humid than it was over the weekend. 63 to 75 high temp range. Southeast wind averaging 4 to 8 miles per hour. We'll time out uh, the next rain chances that comes our way through the early week uh, with that uh, Brotherhood property maintenance forecast in just a few minutes. Justin, back to you. All right, uh, Dakota, looking forward to it. Thank you. Our top story. A Colorado man is facing charges following a vehicle pursuit in the town of Carroll Friday evening. Chautauqua County Sheriff's deputies report that they attempted to pull over 30-year-old Beijing Sedeza for allegedly driving erratic on Route 62 in Carroll. Sedeza allegedly failed to stop and fled deputies. He was pursued on the Bone Run Road in Cataraugus County where his vehicle drove into a resident's yard. When deputies arrived to the car, they said Sedija was undergoing drug-induced convulsions. He was taken to UPMC Chautauqua Hospital for treatment. Sedija is charged with felony DWAI drugs, numerous vehicle and traffic charges. Upon his release from the hospital, he was remanded to the Chautauqua County Jail. The Cattaraugus County Sheriff's Office, New York State Police, All-Star EMS, assisted Chautauqua County deputies on scene. And if 52 attorney generals have their way, the Department of Education would automatically forgive all student loan debt for veterans who became totally and permanently disabled in connection with their military service. Attorney General Letitia James joined a group of 51 AGs in urging the U.S. Department of Education to automatically forgive the student loans of such veterans. The bipartisan coalition issued its letter as the country prepares to honor all fallen troops today. Last year, Doe identified more than 52,000 veterans as eligible for student loan relief due to a service-related total and permanent disability. The Attorney General notes in their letter to the Secretary of Education. Now, fewer than 900 of those veterans had applied to have their loans discharged by April of 2018. However, more than 25,000 had loans in default. And Congressman Tom Reed has secured a sizable grant for Allegheny State Park. Reed's office announced last week that they secured $875,000 to fund upgrades to its underground high-voltage electrical system and to reduce power outages and deliver more efficient energy to park goers. Now, since 1965, the National Park Service has provided more than 40,000 land and water conservation fund grants to states and local communities. The LWCF State and Local Assistance Program provides matching grants for local state park projects outside of national park boundaries. Well, plastic, credit, and debit cards are pretty much everywhere. You may swipe or insert a chip, but did you know you can now tap? More and more retailers are accepting payments from contractless mobile wallets. And are you making the most of yours? Kim Hutcherson explains more in today's Consumer Watch. Still inserting your card, or even worse, using cash? It might be time to modernize your payment habits. From food to entertainment, train fare to online shopping, these days you can pay for just about anything with your phone. 
Digital wallets keep your banking information in one easy-to-access spot and away from the prying eyes of hackers. Mobile payment services like Apple Pay and Google Pay encrypt your payment information. So even if someone steals your phone, they'd likely need your passcode or fingerprint to access your digital wallet, making it a secure alternative to carrying around a pocket full of cash. Splitting the dinner check? Dividing bills between housemates? Digital wallets make payments between friends even easier. Services like Venmo and Zelle connect to your bank account or debit card, allowing you to quickly and securely request or send money through the app. But be warned, not every retailer accepts contactless payments. So don't remove all your cards from your wallet. Keep an old school payment method on you for emergencies. For Consumer Watch, I'm Kim Hutcherson. All right, Kim, but very interesting there. What do you think? Do you uh, trust in a app like that to pay for stuff? I know I've paid a couple of times, mainly when I'm on vacation, because I know maybe not a lot of retailers specifically here in Western New York participate in that, but I know places like Starbucks certainly do. Um, and now Tim Horton has, has that new loyalty card. So um, very interesting. Nevertheless, I suppose, um, you know, cash is always going to work, hopefully. And uh, you generally have that debit card. But uh, I suppose if it keeps the money safe, why not? Coming up next, we have a lot more to tell you about. Chief forecaster Dakota Hunter joins us yet again with a look at this week's weather forecast. But first, how one local group is honoring fallen service men and women this Memorial Day when WNY News Now returns. Live and on demand, you're watching WNY News Now. Now open in downtown Jamestown, Pearl City Hops, Restaurant and Tavern. I have some real old timey dishes on there that I'm just giving new life to. Like there's a shepherd's pie on there that's gonna have some bison in it. You know, real thick hearty gravy. Um, then I'm also doing beer flights. We're pairing it with a set of sliders a set of tacos and a set of mini rolls. So everything's gonna have its own pair so you can get a taste of a little bit of everything and all the beers. We don't wanna be known as the restaurant in the hotel. We wanna be known as Pearl City Hops. You're watching WNY News Now, your source for breaking news. This year's Frewsburg Gala Days is bigger than ever. It's Old Home Week, June 12th through the 15th. Catch musical performances by Hot Mess, Friday at 8, Smokin' 45, Saturday at 8. All the food, fun, and friends will be at Frewsburg Fire Company's annual Gala Days. EagleZip.com is your local one-stop shop for all of your home and business computer needs. Located on Fluvan Avenue Extension, just outside of Jamestown, EagleZip.com sells and services all brands of desktops and laptops, as well as servers and network equipment for your business. All new computer sales include transferring your data from your old computer, plus a two-year warranty. Call EagleZip.com today. Stop by EagleZip.com today and let us make computers easy for you. And welcome back to WNY News Now. On Saturday, the Blue Star Mothers of Western New York held their annual Gold Star Memorial. Now, for the past six years, the group have honored local men and women who have made the ultimate sacrifice while serving our nation. A number of distinguished speakers described military service, including New York State Assemblyman Andy Goodell, who spoke of his daughter's service in mortuary affairs. My daughter worked in Iraq in mortuary affairs. And part of their responsibility was to catalog everything that was on one of our fallen soldiers. And that included pictures. Pictures of their high school buddies back home or their boyfriend or girlfriend, their car. A sonogram.
there's no doubt <clears throat> that the experience had a profound and permanent effect on my daughter. and on her parents. But we were the lucky ones. Now, in addition to Goodell's keynote speaker, United States Marine Corps Colonel Charles Watkins shared a real life story of sacrifice. I have lost military friends and colleagues in combat. in training and on R&R. &R. This thing of death doesn't discriminate. It hurts all the same. On 10 July 2017, a Marine Corps C-130 with a call sign Yankee 72 broke apart at 20,000 feet over a rural area in Mississippi. They were in transit from North Carolina to El Centro, California on a training mission. 16 service members, 15 Marines, and one Navy sailor perished in that tragedy. That local community in Mississippi joined together, graciously extended their hand and offered aid and comfort to not only the families of the Marines, but also the Marines whose task it was to respectfully recover the wreckage and the remains of those that passed away in that plane. The community opened their homes, their businesses, their land to ensure that the recovery crews were provided for and had everything they needed in this very difficult time. Afterwards, they bestowed a piece of land that would forever become a memorial to those that perished in that accident. Today, you can visit this memorial in LaFleur County, Mississippi, along Highway 82, just outside the campus of Mississippi Valley State University. Additionally, a seven mile stretch of US Highway 82 is named for the victims of Yankee 72. I tell this story to provide but one example of the many acts of a grateful nation to honor the fallen. This community would have done the same if it had happened here. Nobody in that community had ever met any of these service members when they lived. But yet, they helped to ensure that none of them would ever be forgotten. This past December, I was a member of a group of Marine officers that had the unenvious task of visiting these Gold Star families. Specifically, our mission was to deli deliver an investigation report, the final investigation report to these Gold Star families. The family I visited was that of Sergeant Owen Lennon, a crew chief on the board that plane that day. Both his mom and his dad are immigrants from Ireland. Though this was not their birth country, they lived as patriots and they raised a family of patriots. They were so proud of their son, proud that Owen honorably, honorably served his country and their adopted country. This Gold Star family, upon my uh, leaving, presented me with Owen's memorial card. I carry that card with me here today. I never met Owen, but I'll never forget him. Now, those interested in watching the full ceremony can do so on our website and mobile app. We salute all of our servicemen and women, and thank you for your service.
Up next, Chief Forecaster Dakota Hunter is here with a look at our forecast. Stay tuned. that matters. This is WNY News Now. Turn to Brotherhood Property Maintenance for all your lawn care and landscaping needs no matter the season. Brotherhood Property Maintenance does it all from professional plowing during the winter months to expert landscaping all summer long. Count on Brotherhood Property Maintenance for mowing, landscaping, tree work, spring and fall cleanup, plus snow removal. Serving both commercial and residential lots, check out Jamestown's fastest growing landscaping crew on Facebook or call us right now to book an appointment. Extra, extra, read all about it. Not tomorrow, but right now on the WNY News Now mobile app. Follow local news as it happens. Top story of Forestville man's weather video has gone viral. And stay informed with the Southern Tier's only 24-7 streaming network. Our Matt Hummel is standing by live outside of Chautauqua County Court with more on this case. Matt, good afternoon to you. Download the WNY News Now app right now. It's free on the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. First Defense Weather, the Southern Tier's only live and local weather source. Now, here's Chief Forecaster Dakota Hunter. Welcome back on this Monday Memorial Day. And if you have plans to take your boat out on Lake Erie today, here's what's going on. The water temperature has shot up to 50 off Buffalo, and it shot up to 55 uh, off Erie. Those are the current water temperatures. Got a southeast wind, 5 to 10 knots today, and wave heights averaging around a foot or less with bright sunshine today. So, again, might not be a good idea to go swimming in this quite yet. The water temperatures are still chilly, but if you do want to take your boat out there, looking good for that. And if you got some grilling you're going to be doing this afternoon, Here's what you can expect through the afternoon. So temperatures will actually warm up nicely. Uh, we'll go from the upper uh, 60s from around 1 o'clock to at least the lower 70s uh, by the time we head into the afternoon hours. And we, sh and we should remain dry uh, going down into the lower 70s again by 6 o'clock. So there will be some rain to go through tonight and that will linger into tomorrow. But again, it's not going to be anything widespread. And we'll show it to you here uh, on the future scan. Now, what you see here, it's not going to be as widespread as the computer model uh, is showing it, but there will be some showers, maybe a couple of rumbles of thunder tonight, and then that'll continue throughout the day tomorrow. But again, it's going to be scattered activity. It's not going to be anything widespread. So the model kind of depicts it as being widespread, but it won't be as we go into tonight and tomorrow. So whether where you live, this is where we're going to top out today. Uh, the eastern areas will stay probably into the lower to mid 70s. Uh, the computer suggesting 78 and Warren. We'll see if we get there, but I think that's a bit uh, overestimated. Happy Memorial Day. Thank you to all the men and women once again who have served. Uh, you've given the, um, uh, of course, uh, you have uh, given the ultimate sacrifice. And, and uh, I think a lot of you know that my grandfather served in World War II. And uh, so. Uh, thank you for all you do. Westward we go. Because we have a Lake Erie breeze, it's going to keep the Lake Erie shoreline communities cooler. Lake Erie will act like a big air conditioner, keeping you guys down uh, into the lower 60s. All right, here comes the extended forecast brought to you by Brotherhood Property Maintenance. We uh, the, um, uh, the humidity is back on the rise Tuesday and Wednesday. We cool off going into Thursday and Friday, but Friday, pick day of the week so far, uh, looking like mostly sunny skies, but we do have a chance for rain over the next couple of days. We'll be right back, so don't go away. Invest in your business or cause by letting the marketing gurus at WNY News Now and WNY Media Company grow your business. Purchase an ad much like the one you are watching now on WNY News Now's daily show, News Now at Noon, WNYNewsNow.com, or our brand new mobile app. And then get feedback from our marketing experts and fans alike. And finally, watch your business grow. 
as an added bonus, Community Partners messages were run not only on our scheduled programming, but on weather alerts and breaking news as well. Plus, messages are shared on WNY Sports Now programming. Anything from a live local basketball game to the Phone Zone Sports Desk. Become part of our family today. And contact us right now. Want weather now? Download the WNY News Now mobile app and stay up to date on severe weather alerts. Plus, anytime hazardous weather strikes, stick with the Southern Tier's only 24-7 streaming network that keeps you safe. You're all in a tornado warning, so now is the time to go to a safe place, small room, lowest floor, near the center, away from windows. What are you waiting for? Download the WNY News Now mobile app today. It's free in the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. You're watching WNY News Now, where coverage comes first. And welcome back. It's Memorial Day, so hopefully you are able to go outside and enjoy some fresh air. It's something our parents have told us to do as kids, and it could be just what the doctor ordered for a workforce that spends most of the day sitting and staring at screens. Reed Binion takes us outside in today's Health Minute. Do you feel like you spend too much of your workday stuck indoors? Do you drift off into a daydream, staring longingly out the window? Do you sometimes wish you could just move your desk outside? Well, it might be hard to convince your boss of that last one, but it turns out getting some fresh air can actually improve your job performance. A pilot study out of the University of Miami's Miller School of Medicine found that taking a meeting outside and walking while you talk can have several benefits. Not only does a little bit of exercise help your cardiovascular health, but it can also get those creative juices flowing. Not to mention, it takes away the excuse that you're too busy after work to go to the gym. Some employers are noticing that small change. One advertising CEO says changing your settings and surrounding yourself in nature instead of looking at a screen can inspire new ideas. So go ahead, put your walking shoes on and earn that happy hour drink. For today's Health Minute, I'm Reed Binion. All right, Reed. Uh, I look forward to that happy hour drink, sir. Thank mm -hmm. you. Uh, Chief Forecaster Dakota Hunter joins us now. Dakota, what do you, yep. what do you make of that? I mean, I, I, I think in the news industry, we right. probably get to spend a little more time outside, say, doing a story. But right. um, contrary to probably belief of people, weather in today's modern world, mm -hmm. a lot of times takes place in an office. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, you know, most of my day is actually spent in the weather center yeah. looking at uh, model data. A lot of uh, math, yeah. maps. Yeah. Maps, mathematics, physics, a lot of it goes into it. And unfortunately, in some ways, a lot of it's just being stuck in an office right. all day. Right. So, um, you know, I don't know. I think maybe we should talk to corporate about possibly having our you know, you know, our news meetings outside. Yeah, we should. We should. We Instead should. of being all jammed well, in the newsroom where we're all hot and sweaty, well, no offense. No, but no, thank you. <laughs> the newsroom always you know. gets so hot. Yeah. Um, I think it's because we have nice windows that overlook Third yeah. Street. But we should take it out to uh, 8th Memorial Park, yeah. which is just out here, um, and, and do our meetings there. And um, I know today I'm only spending a half a day here. Mm -hmm. I think you are too. I did see oh, yeah. you on that roster for that. So. Yeah. Um, after this, we're done. Mm -hmm. Thank goodness. Um, but, we have uh, no weather problems today, yeah. so yeah. I don't have to be here. And, and really, <laughs> it really is a beautiful day. I know a lot of, not, a, not a lot of people are probably thinking about work. They're like, work? Yeah. But, you know, tomorrow, I mean, you know, a lot of people are going to go back to work, mm -hmm. and uh, hopefully you will get to enjoy some of that sunshine because a lot of times... You know, here, especially in Western New York, we yeah. don't always get to see a lot of that. Mm -hmm. So it always seems like, you know, it always seems like on the days people have work off and the days people have school off, it's right. dreary and wet and right. rainy. But hey, at least today's nice. Yeah. Cooler, lower humidity. I mean, it's just perfect with yeah. lots of blue skies. Yeah, so. absolutely. And I think really probably for, you know, the next what, five days or so? I mean, things are really going to be looking pretty mm -hmm. nice out there. Yeah, and essentially, as we take a look at that Brotherhood Property Maintenance Forecast, you can see the humidity will be on the rise Tuesday and Wednesday. So we're going to add that stick them back in the air once again. At least scattered. it's not snowing, right? Yeah, that, yeah, <laughs> that's true. Uh, but, uh, but at least as we go into Thursday and Friday, we knock it back down with another cold front that's going to come through. Friday looking good, 70 and mostly sunny skies. But be aware, scattered showers and storms over the next couple of days, but nothing widespread at this point. Well, that's good. That's good. And you know, the other thing too about seeing a forecast like this, um, you know, in summertime, 
correct mm-hmm. me if I'm wrong, a lot, of, a lot of times, unless it's like a big frontal system moving across, we get a chance for showers in the afternoon, it rains, and, mm-hmm. and then it usually opens up. That's, well, we don't generally get them all the time in the summer. What we generally get is if we have a tropical air mass that's in, we get these little pop-up showers and storms. Actually, as a matter of fact, that's what happened on Saturday. We had yeah. these little pop-up showers and storms that popped up across the area, and essentially we call them whack-a-mole right. because we can't tell you when or where it's going to rain. They're just going to pop up at random times. Now, they're not as random as they seem. They're popping up for some reason where they are. We're just not sure what those reasons are. So. Right. Yeah. So, but uh, either way, you do a great job, and I know we you honored Matt on Friday, and mm-hmm. you know I think you should be honored too sometime down uh, the line. So, food for thought. I agree with that. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, thanks for thanks for spending your Memorial Day with me, um, and, and and as you said, you know, greatly during the weather segment. I mean that 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 you know the stories we we shared today, um, really really powerful. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, and I think, you know, t- talking with veterans and, you know, WNYU now works closely with the Joseph P. Dwyer program yep. to do uh, with their peer-to-peer, um, you know, uh, basically, you know, to help veterans who are undergoing PTSD, um, you know, we really do a good job of, um, mm-hmm. uh, they really do a good job of helping each other. Um, so today, Memorial Day, you know, a lot of people are out grilling, yep. barbecuing. You know, we just ask, please, please remember you know, the main reason for the holiday, and, and that's to honor and remember those who paid the ultimate sacrifice exactly. and weren't able to return home. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and we, as always, thank our, our veterans, you know, all year long, and, you know, especially today, uh, you know, remembering um, their service, the service of their, their colleagues who uh, you know, didn't make it back. And, uh, you know, we wouldn't be able to do this broadcast without exactly. them yep. fighting for our freedom. So we thank you so much for that. And with that, we leave you with uh, images from the Blue Star Mothers on Saturday. We'll see you back here tomorrow. See you tomorrow.